Today's the 27th of January. 27th of January marks the anniversary of the liberation of uh, Auschwitz, uh, Birkenau, the largest Nazi death camp during the Second World War. So uh, this is Holocaust Memorial Day. It's a day to remember, honour and share stories of those who were persecuted and, and who were part of this awful genocide. And of course, during the persecution of the Jews by Nazi Germany, an estimated total of over six million men, women and of course children were murdered. Joining us in the studio now, Chair of the Holocaust Memorial Day Trust, Laura Marks, OBE. And um, just before we get started, uh, I'd like to give you a quick warning that some people might find this conversation um, distressing. And I sort of wince a bit at that because I think, seriously, I mean, do you, you know, do you know that term, Laura, lest we forget, you know, the use of Remembrance Day? Surely this today, today, and for apologies to people who don't want to hear about this or whatever, surely this never applies more so in case we forget. Well, Holocaust Memorial Day, thank you for having me on. Holocaust Memorial Day is the day where we don't forget. Uh, and, and I'm quite positive about it because I think it's the day when, uh, 27th of January, we all come together and we think about people who were murdered in the Holocaust and people who were murdered by the Nazis who were not Jewish because, as you say, the Holocaust mm -hmm. was Jewish. Um, all the people who were also murdered, Roma Sinti people, gay people, political prisoners, Jehovah's Witnesses, disabled people, mm -hmm. anybody the Nazis thought was different. Mm -hmm. And then on Holocaust Memorial Day, we also think about people who were murdered in subsequent genocides in Cambodia, Darfur, Rwanda and Bosnia. And then we think about people who are still being persecuted today because of who they are. So whether it's the Uyghur Muslims in China, the Rohingya in Myanmar, uh, people all around the world still being persecuted because they're different, mm. because they're a different faith group, they're a different colour, um, they're a different gender. So, so we use today to do something positive. Mm -hmm. um, Holocaust Memorial Day is run by the Holocaust Memorial Day Trust. And what we do is we encourage people all around the country to come together as communities and to really think about what's happened in the past so that we can have a better future. So the positive side of it is a better future. Um, and in fact, this year we have a, a theme, which is one day. And we can think about the terrible one days in the past, and we can also think about the one day in the future when things will be better. And what I love about the, the, the decision to hold this Memorial Day on the 27th of January is, as you described, because although it is remembering all these really sobering and shocking horrors, there is a light in all of this because it remembers the um, liberation of those survivors from Auschwitz, which was literally the light coming into the darkness and rescuing people from evil. Just take us back to that day and, and what they found when people were brought out of, uh, of Auschwitz and, and just remind us of the starkness of that day. Well, I mean, Auschwitz was liberated by the Russians. Um, the one that's even more interesting for here is Bergen-Belsen, which was liberated by the British. And, uh, and we have, for example, a, a rabbi speaking. That the, the main ceremony is tonight at 7 o'clock and you can watch it online. <clears throat> and... Uh, one of the people who's speaking is um, Rabbi Levy, whose grandfather was one of the chaplains. He was the Jewish chaplain to the British Armed Forces. And he was at the liberation of Bergen-Belsen. He was there three days after the liberation. It's in, in April. And he wrote these letters home to his wife, telling her about the devastation that they found. And I, I mean, there were, I think, 30,000 dead bodies. He was involved in burying 20 of them. I mean, you know, they found total devastation. And, and also we have people who are alive today who were there, yeah. who, were, who were the victims. So there's a, a wonderful survivor called Susan Pollock. And uh, she still talks about her experiences. And she was there and she always talks about how she was liberated by the British Army. Mm. And so there's a really positive story Could you here. imagine the effects there would be on the people? Because it was such a secret, such a secret. And then they discovered all this and they... What on earth would they do to these poor, emaciated people um, who had so many awful tales to tell? And could I ask you just your, your, your lapel badge? What, is, what does that symbolise? Well, this is the flame. And this is the Holocaust Memorial Day Trust symbol, really, about, yeah. about Holocaust Memorial Day. 
and it's a flame. And in fact, it's very, very relevant because it's about what you were saying, lighting the darkness. And tonight at eight o'clock, around the nation, we're asking people to light a candle and put it in their window to help us light the darkness. In fact, I, I brought you a, a lovely one along, mm -hmm. a purple Thank one. You. Um, and we're asking people to light a candle and just to spend a few moments reflecting because what can we do? Right? What can we do? It's not enough to just hear about it. Uh, we need to learn more. We need to hear more. We need to feel more. And, and I, I, you know, Amy, you really feel it, just right? Yeah. We need to feel more, but we need to do more. You know, we need to make the world safer. And if a little thing we can do is light a candle, put it in our windows so our neighbours can see it, reflect for a few moments on the darkness that's out there. And you know, the pandemic's made things darker because obviously there's been all of the pandemic's effect on people's livelihoods and health and, and all of that. But also it's made people very suspicious. It's made people look for scapegoats and you come back to the same old scapegoats. So anti-Semitism, for example, hasn't gone away. And there's lots of conspiracy theories around Jews and the pandemic, also around Asians and the pandemic, all sorts of people. Mm -hmm. We're looking for someone to blame, mm -hmm. or lots of people. So let's light a candle and put it in the window. Uh, the other thing people can do is watch the national ceremony, uh, which is at seven o'clock, and it's a beautiful, beautiful ceremony. How do you watch that? So that's at hmd.org.uk. Mm. Um, you can pre-register during the day or just click it at 10 to 7 tonight, uh, hmd.org.uk. And uh, we've got Stephen Fry, we've got Stan Sandy Toxvig, you know, the Kingdom Choir who sang at uh, Harry and Meghan's wedding. They oh, yes. sing and yeah, it will break beautiful. your heart. Yeah. Really, it will break your heart. It's beautiful. And stories from people who are survivors of the Holocaust. But also we've got, um, there's a survivor called Smayo Beso from Bosnia. And he was a six-year-old child. He was born in 1985, and he was a six-year-old child when his world was blown apart. And, and that, that, that genocide was, they say, the worst atrocity that's happened in Europe since the Holocaust. And he tells his story to a group of Muslim girls at school. And you see them react. And then you see them got to do something, because what they did, having heard his story, was they went and did a big collection for refugees, because of course he was a refugee and all of the survivors that we have here were refugees. So all of these people came to this country and when you listen to them, in fact, yesterday I was listening to both Susan Pollock, I told you about who was at um, Bergen-Belsen and Smyo, talking about how grateful they are to Britain for letting them in and giving them a life. Mm. And they went on to do remarkable things. So, uh, so they're all in the ceremony at seven o'clock, and you can watch it online. And then light a candle at eight o'clock. Well, and remember, we'll be doing that, Laura. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Laura Marks. You were listening to there is the chair of the Holocaust Memorial Day Trust, and that day is today, the twenty seventh of January. Um, just uh, marking that um, genocide, and uh, over six million men, women, and children who were murdered. Um, with with this, so um, just we should never forget. We should never forget. Thank you very much. Thank you.